Let's get to the second story here, which is basically big banks uh, and their ambitions in China. On the one hand, Goldman saying they're going to hire about 600 people in five years, and uh, UBS also, also talking about uh, their ambitions. China is the great opportunity, right? And another thing that Goldman wants to do is plan a new asset management unit. So remember, regardless of whether China goes through with all of these plans to really open up to the financial system, there have already been great strides for a lot of these banks. So opening a new asset management unit, mm -hmm. Guggenheim, Neuberger Berman, or other places, BlackRock, because there are huge institutions, pensions, and uh, sovereign wealth funds, insurance companies that are ready to de deploy a lot of capital into these asset management units. Not to mention, a couple years ago, Goldman did a $5 billion fund with China Investment Corp, which opened their office in New York, mm. to invest in U.S. manufacturing and the whole industry. And so that's even before China really opened up. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, is there a long way to go for China to open up their financial system to the big banks? Yes, but the opportunity has already presented itself for the people who really want to, to make a big presence there. Who wins in like who is most entrenched versus who actually can steal the market share? It looks like the big asset managers have a big opportunity in pulling in assets. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the Ping On, for example, is a big anchor investor in a lot of funds. So asset management is a good space, but it looks like the hedge fund industry has a really hard time taking off because the Chinese hedge funds tend to know their market better, are comfortable with a lot of swings. Uh, and a lot of these broker dealers also only have joint mm -hmm. ventures, so the hope is they'll own some of the, the, them all full out by mm -hmm. the end of this year.